And uh, th uh, thank you for uh, m making me a partner in the firm, uh, m m m m m m Mr. Scrooge. Call me Sam. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Oh, I hate kiss, Bob Humbug. It's your buddy. In a related story, eccentric billionaire Foghorn Weghorn held a press conference today and made a stunning announcement. I've been, I say I've been hearing a lot of whining about how it's too hot to celebrate Christmas this year. But I'm here to announce that I'm gonna do something. I say I'm gonna do something about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the fan plan. What is that? It's a giant fan, boy! And I'm gonna set it up at the North Pole and blow some of that cold air down here. If I were you, I'd get your sweaters out of the cedar closet. Cause I'm predicting, I say I'm predicting a white Christmas. That is one crazy rooster. I'm surprised you didn't get roped into going with him. Oh, I'm going. Well, I'm off to the North Pole. Should I bring a jacket? Nah, it's a thousand degrees outside. Bugs, your girlfriend fainted. Thank you all for coming. Of course, we're all here for the same reason. We care about the community. We love Christmas. And we love the theater. And one of you is here because I needed you to drive me because my nail polish wasn't dry yet. So, thanks, Bugs. Actually, I'm here because I understand this is an equity production, as in guaranteed money. And I also love the theater. Okay, a Christmas carol. Now, just a little heads up before you read the script, I have made a few teeny tiny changes. What are you talking about? I rewrote it. You rewrote a beloved classic? <laughs> Come on. Who could be love a story about a mean old guy named Scrooge who hates Christmas? I'm sorry, but that's not going to get anybody in the holiday spirit. Bugs, you're going to play Santa. Uh, Santa's not in a Christmas carol. Well, he's in this version. 
Mac and Tosh, you'll play Santa's elves, Weevil and Beevil. You can decide amongst yourselves who's who. I'll be Weevil. Oh, then I'll be Beevil. Do you want me to be Beevil? Only if you don't want to be Weevil. I could easily see myself as Beevil. But I also think you would make a fantastic Weevil. Oh, no one cares. We can't tell you apart anyway. Here, you're Weevil, you're Beevil. Now, who am I? You are nightclub impresario Rick Evans. And Speedy, you are Manu Ginobili. The basketball player? Now, Corky, you're going to play a very important part. You will be playing the role of Hambone. Oh, what about in my, in my, in my script? Oh, Hambone doesn't talk. He's a pet pig. He oinks. Well, I guess that's everyone. <gasps> oh, no! There's no one left to play Carol! Who's Carol? Carol? A Christmas Carol? The girl from the title of the play? Ugh, poor Charles Dickens. Why don't you play Carol? Me? Oh, no. I'm just the writer. I'm not an actor. Besides, Carol has a British accent that's essential to the role. And I couldn't possibly capture the many layers of Carol's intricate personality, the highs and the lows of her journey, her desperation, her fear, her strength, her courage. She's a temptress. Oh, but she's shy, almost coquettish. How could I capture her volatility? <laughs> and she's so funny. And what about the song? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm hmm You have to be Weevil. Spoken like a true Beevil. <laughs> if you think rewriting a Christmas carol is a bad idea, <laughs> well, I believe I can show you a worse one. We're almost over the North Pole! It's time to jump! What? We can't land a big old plane like this on that ice. Are you out of your mind? Whoa! Now I say, there goes the fan! Come on, boy! I say, ah! I don't know about you, but I read the script. It ain't worth the air conditioner. Okay, everyone, we're starting rehearsal. <whistles> we have got a town full of people out there who have lost the Christmas spirit. And I believe the only chance we have of getting it back is to put on a flawless production of an almost unrecognizable version of A Christmas Carol. Places, everyone! <laughs> Oh, Hambone, it looks like it's just you and me this Christmas. Oink. Is that how you're gonna do it? Oink, oink. Yeah, you're gonna need to work on that. <laughs> we're there! I'll say we're there! North Pole! Woohoo! We made it! Woo! I always knew we'd make it, except for that one time I lay down in the snow to die. But all the rest of the time I knew we'd make it. Well, not that one time when I tried to kill you so that I could climb inside your carcass for warmth, but then realized how hard it would be to clean out your carcass, so instead I just lay down for a second time in the snow to die. But every other time, I always knew we would make it. Yeah!
to do it. But even the best laid plans of ducks and roosters often go awry. Hmm. I say, hmm. What? Where are we gonna plug it in? Plug it in? We have to plug it in? We're in the middle of nowhere! You didn't think about this before we left? Why do I keep getting involved with you? It's that limo. I keep getting tricked by that limo. WWSD. WWSD. What are you muttering? WWSD. What would Santa do? It's something I ask myself when I need guidance. <gasps> That's it! What? We'll plug it in. I say we'll plug it in in Santa's workshop. It's got to be around here somewhere. So you want us to just wander around the North Pole, hoping to bump into Santa Claus? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> Looking for some place to plug that in? Santa? You look cold. Why don't you take a seat by the fire? You're so snuggly, Santa. So you're saying you installed a giant fan at the North Pole and that any minute it's going to start blowing in winter weather? I'm not the kind of rooster to say I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> How did you do it? We had a little help. You probably know him as Father Christmas, St. Nick, the captain. But I call him Santa Claus, and I've got him on tape. Santa? You're so snuggly, Santa. I sat on the lap of a polar bear. I told you you was hallucinating. But I guess I didn't plug the fan in either. I'll make the next one battery operated. Next one. This is it. We did it. It's Christmas Eve, and we have a packed house. Because of the air conditioning. I just want to thank you all for your hard work and dedication, which I believe is the true meaning of Christmas. Group hug. <laughs> oh, this seems like a good time to tell everyone about the trap door I put in. Trust me, it'll make our entrances and exits much more dramatic. How do we get out? We're gonna suffocate! Ooh, I've heard that's the most pleasant way to go. I've heard that too. But it's not gonna come to that. Bugs will get us out. Bugs! 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 Hello? We're down here! Lola? Bugs! We fell through my trap door and we're stuck! Trap door? How does it open? Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have focused too much on the trap part and not enough on the door part. It won't budge. What are we going to do? The play starts in one minute. You'll have to tell everyone the play is canceled. But you've worked so hard. Well, there's nothing else we can do. And at that moment, Bugs Bunny found the Christmas spirit. Too bad he didn't also find a better script. Oh, Humbone, it looks like it's just you and me this Christmas. Oh, Humbone, you're such a funny pig. <laughs> hey, look, a Christmas carol. That's, uh, I say, that's one of my favorite plays. Never heard of it. Where is Santa Claus? Well, how should I know? I'm an innocent nightclub owner. Well, 
If Rick Evans didn't kidnap Santa, then where is he? <laughs> Bugs! You weren't supposed to use the trap door. Really? Now what are we gonna do? There's no ending. Santa? I know what you're all thinking. This is the worst Christmas play you've ever seen. And I can't say I disagree. But it took a lot of effort to put on a play this bad. And if there's one thing that's worth the effort, it's Christmas. Look, I know it's a lot of work. Tying the tree to the top of your car and then dragging it inside, pine needles going everywhere. Packing up the car and driving six hours to Grandma's house. But these are the things that bring us all together. Even this utterly unrecognizable version of a Christmas carol. I mean, look around you. The whole town is here. Yes, I know that Christmas isn't easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to deliver presents to every boy and girl on Earth. You think that doesn't take a lot of effort? Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! Whoa! <laughs> nice trap door. Let's see here. Lola? Bugs? Gophers? Oh, you can decide who gets what. Yosemite? Better luck next year. Speedy. What the? Hey, fellas. Ha, 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 I plugged your fan in. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas time is here, there's a tingle in the air. I sat on a park bench and froze my derriere. We're all hanging stockings, drinking cocoa. OMG, it's snowing! Santa's bringing tons of loot, and we got Christmas spirit blowing. It's the time of year we try to drop our negativity. I just dropped a glitter bomb to make the town more Christmassy. Christmas time can be so hectic, shopping malls can really be so rough. But it's the best of all the holidays because we get new stuff. And Thanksgiving was a snow. Christmas, Christmas, we want more. You type by the fireplace. I am gonna stuff my face. Punch the clock and close the school. That's the reason Christmas rules. All the buildings look like igloos. White majestic winter castles. We can wear our Christmas sweaters. And our culottes with gold tassels. This is why Christmas is great. This ain't time to play your hate. All you gotta have is faith. What a lovely Christmas race. You mean wreath? Nope, I mean race. <laughs> My holiday depression has been lifted by this wobbly sight. How can one be sad with 50,000 watts of Christmas lights? It's so many holidays. What the heck is Arbor Day? I just know I work that day. Give me Christmas any day. You type by the fireplace. I am gonna stop my face. Punch the clock and close the school. That's the reason Christmas rules. We got on sale. Silver tinsel by the bale. Semi frozen river skating. And he came self medicating. Taking back your fat we hate. 15 pounds of winter weight. Fluffy quilts with Christmas cats. 10 pound Russian winter hats. Fruit cakes that are gluten free. They're known by the gallant. Brand new cars with giant bows. Holiday themed laser shows. Roasted chicken Christmas tree. Cheddar cheese not to the Christmas candy.
Your birthday is June 28th. <laughs> oh, blast! This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Looks like I'm gonna have to double down. Dang, dude, you got some pretty tight bars. But, uh, get out. I think it is his Pokemon, right, Mom? Yes, yeah, it is. Yep, this is his Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> 